He's trying his best! It's getting so close! It's getting there! Osu Toys Pro. Pro. Oh, the annual OSU tournament where the biggest of names compete for their country to see who can click circles better than you. This was like the LCS, the VCT. In my early OSU days, I would never even dream of playing in OWC. Wait. I would never even dream of playing in OWC. However, this year was different. 2022 has been my breakout year for OSU. I got three digits this year, won two tournament badges with these lovely teammates, and placed fourth with New York in the United States Cup. I even got to play in Roundtable, the most exciting OSU event so far this year. Even though I got last place, I took a point off Emrek, and then I beat him up. In my journey to get pretty good at this game, the challenge of playing in OWC was definitely the biggest mountain I've ever faced. Considering that the United States has won OSU World Cup for the last four years meant that this feat would be more difficult than anything I've ever done in this game. At least achievement wise. Let's fucking go! <clears throat> Anyways, take a seat and enjoy the video. But not just any seat. The Anna seat! Try the Anna seat Kaiser 3 gaming chair. I know, I know, gaming chairs don't tend to be the most reputable for comfort. But, looks may be deceiving. Anaseat reached out to me to try their chair, and I've had no problem streaming and sitting on it for more than 14 hours on end. The leather seat itself is pretty roomy and comfortable, and there are nice adjustment settings for your lower back, and of course, the recline. Kaiser comes with the magnetic pillow too, which I sometimes use as a tapping armrest. Very odd use, but it shows that this thing is pretty versatile. So yeah, if you would like to support me and need a comfier seat to sit on, try and a seat. Link with my code for a discount will be in the description below. Okay, so how do you register or try out for OWC in the first place? Well, first, you have to be rank 1 to 5,000. You can find this forum post if you look for a bit on the website. Okay, so you've registered, but now what? Depending on the country you're in, you'll most likely have tryouts. You'll probably find the tryout link when the captain of the country tweets it, or it might float around in Discord. But if not, just DM the captain of your country for help. I didn't know this, so I literally searched Twitter to find the link from 2021. Anyways, let's look at the map pool. This shit was 8 stars. I knew that the map pool would get harder every year as players improved, but this was a whole new level. If I wanted to have any chance, I would have to practice hard. Players are required to play tryouts two times, once every week. This allows captains to see who's more consistent and who just has a pop-off week and shits the bed the next. I signed up for a lobby with these lovely players and kicked off our first map, Freema 2, and tested out my precision. I'm ready. I'm ready! Oh my god! 
Starting off the first map, I top scored my lobby. My confidence was through the roof. I was thinking, even if I am an aim specialist, surely the rest of the pool can't be that hard. I can't even FC the slow part, bro. I'm disabled. Okay, 26,000 score out of 1.2 million. That's 2% of the possible score on the map. Ugh. I'm definitely not gonna be a speed player anytime soon. We're still fine though. Although I am impaired on most tapping maps, I excel at aim. Most OWC teams are made out of a core 4 to 5 that are all rounders, but the rest tend to be specialists. I will aim to specialize in aim. Our next aim map was Hard Rock 1. It basically tests your AR-10 smaller circle aim consistency. I had a really rough start, shit missing everywhere, but it gets better. Ah, shit. If only I comboed the beginning, bro. That was definitely a good run, but maybe it was because I had recently moved and my setup had changed, but my aim was feeling inconsistent. The aim inconsistency would be the same case during Nomad 1. I hit a lot of hard parts, but missed on triple the easy parts. Oh no. <laughs> hey. What was Habib's score? That shit was crazy. 358. Ah. My glaring weaknesses would come to light in the other A maps, Hidden 1 and DT1. Although these are maps I normally score high on on lower star map pools, the difficulty of this pool made it so that I could not just rely on my raw aim. I would get tapping gapped multiple times throughout these two maps.
before. Oh my god, there's more. Are you currently doing the tryouts? That would be the case. Aside from these maps, I pretty much struggled with everything else, showing me just how far I was from being a top player. By the end of week 1 tryouts and playing through all 20 maps, which, mind you, was 90 minutes of straight Osu skill cap, this was how I looked. Guys, the face is sweaty. Is it? I mean, here, let me zoom up. Holy shit! <laughs> okay, it's the light, I swear. Look, look, look. It's the light, it's the light. Right? <laughs> me, me after? Me after OWC US tryouts. <sighs> So let's see how week one turned out. My scores were pretty bad to average and my overall average scores was down bad. But wait a minute, that's pretty good. I had the second best hard rock score on free mod two. Honestly, that was a victory in my book. To be honest, it was clear that I was not gonna make the team. So I had to showcase a skill that I knew no one could beat me in. Not even Emrek or Cookie Z could come close. Yes! 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 And I did it again. Oh my god! Dude! Dude, I'm a fucking demon! Regardless of how I did though, I think this was a great experience to learn where I stand compared to the top. Playing these tryouts exposed a lot of my weaknesses, and going forward into 2023, I can't wait to see how I grow as a player. Thanks for watching! Oh, that's a pretty beast score. Are how I Oh <laughs> <laughs>